So for the next step, we're going to start building some kind of neck mechanisms in here. And we're going to base it on the reality of the human anatomy, the human neck. We're going to have two large sort of pneumatic um, or hydraulic pistons coming down for the sternomastoid muscles. And they're going to need to affix at some kind of clavicle, clavicular notch down here. So really to create all the neck stuff, we need to have the two masses that the neck connects, the head and the torso. We just need something here to stand in for the torso for right now. And what we'll do is we'll use a polysphere for that. So I have a polysphere already here appended in. I'm just going to move this down. And with the move brush, I'm just going to shape it into a, a rib cage volume. It doesn't have to be terribly accurate to anything other than just the, uh, the size and the shape of the rib cage. And we may use this to, to build other elements later. change over to the gray shader here. I'm going to go to the uh, M polish brush here just to help polish out the planes, the rib cage, just because I prefer to have those in there. At least a suggestion of them. Smooth this back a bit. Use that move brush to pull these volumes back out. And I'll use that clip brush, the clip curve, just to cut that plane right here, the first rib. There we go. So if I screenshot that, let's just check the proportion more or less. One, two, it's a little small. I'll scale it up.
Okay, and we'll just name this rib cage. I can actually delete these facial measuring guides. And I don't really need the muscle reference head either, so I'll delete that. And I don't need the extra set of eyeballs, so I will delete that. There we go.